So at the end of last class, we ended with the implicit form of the finite difference equation. Right, and so this was an equation for the ith grid block. Of course, where the ith grid block is in the interior, it's not on one of the boundaries. So we talked about how it would be modified if it were on one of the boundaries and if it had a pressure boundary condition or a constant flow boundary condition, constant flux boundary condition. Can anyone tell me, so we're, so we're solving, can anyone tell me what units, so each, each term in this equation must have the same units, right? Otherwise, it's not a valid equation. Can anybody tell me what the units of that equation are? It has to be used of pressure, right? So the easiest thing is to look at the term on the right hand side. So, so you could work through all the details to find out what the units of eta are, but of course, on the right-hand side, we just have pressure, so it has to equal pressure. But if you remember on the first day of this class, so the reason we use reservoir simulation is to determine how much oil we can get out of the reservoir. So is pressure a good, a good unit for, to determine? Is that the most convenient unit to determine how much oil is going to flow out of the reservoir? Probably not. So what we're going to do is we're going to just multiply this equation by a constant, essentially, that will turn this equation into an equation that has units of flow rate, barrels per day. And that's more convenient. So that's what we're going to set out to do. And what the final equation will, will result, I mean, or it's the same equation. It's just multiplied by a constant, we call it the transmissibility form. Right, so remember eta, and of course, eta is dimensionless, right? Has to be. Eta is alpha delta T over delta X squared. And remember, alpha is K mu T CT delta T delta X squared. So we're going to multiply both sides. So a constant's going to be the area. So this is a 1D problem. So every grid block has a cross-sectional area. Because you know, when we wrote the mass balance equations, you, you know, you, you balance on mass, which by definition has a volume, right? So, uh, so there's an area that's, that's sort of the the distance into the board in our grid block, right? Times delta x times phi ct times the formation over the formation volume factor over delta t. And another way you might write that is v, we'll say i, so the, the volume of the i grid block times the porosity times the to total compressibility over the formation volume factor over T. And so now if we m multiply the equation, and at the same time, I'm going to substitute back in this for eta. So I'm going to plug that back into eta and multiply by that. So 
Okay. And then after the simplifications are made, So this guy has units what? feet cube or barreled cube per day. This guy has units PSI. So if you look at this term, it sort of looks like Darcy's law, right? Which is a, gives you a velocity. So it sort of looks like Darcy's law. So this term, or specifically the coefficient here, has to do with the transmissibility. It has to do with the, it refers to the, how much fluid flows in or out of a grid block. And the next class, we'll, we'll, we'll actually derive these same equations, not from the PDE, but, but from a control volume approach. And you'll see that you get these same equations when you do that, by actually looking at what flows in and flows out of a grid block. And so we're going to call this T, because this is this refers to the transmissibility. Right. And we're going to call this B. Or specifically, we're going to call B V I B C T over B W because this well this this occurs this this uh, term accounts for the volume accumulation okay. so don't please don't um, confuse this B with B W. So I'll, if it's, we're talking about formation volume factor, we'll always have a subscript associated with water, oil, gas. This is just a constant B. Right. And of course, this right, T is also here and here, and B is also here. I'm sorry. So maybe
So let's look at our sort of model problem we've been looking at. That's our 4x4 